add attributes into your database, there's a couple different ways you can do that now. I'm going to open up my people and orgs, and it might be donors and yours or voters, doesn't matter what it is. I can add new attributes directly from the query panel up above, so I'll hit the attribute. And for me, I kind of like to use the magnifying glass so I get a little bit of bird's eye view. Now, if I want to add a new folder, I right mouse click the parent folder that I want to add it under. So I'm going to click on right, I'm going to right mouse click on attributes. I'll insert a folder and I'll just say new folder. And that created a folder as named here. I'll right mouse click that folder and I will add items to it. And I'm going to check mark this box so I can add several at a time. And I'll just say item 1, item 2, item 3, and I'll finish there. And that's one way of doing it. Another way to do it, and I'll start from a fresh screen, is go back into people and orgs and maybe I'll do a search. So maybe I'll be working with some records in here and I'll just say, give me everybody whose last name is greater than the letter U and I'll pick up an arbitrary record of Greg Eulin. It doesn't matter who I do this with. I can go into the attribute window again and there's that new folder I created a moment ago and I'll add another by inserting a folder by again clicking on the parent folder I want to add it under and I'll say new folder number two and the same process of right mouse clicking that folder to add new items to it and again this would just be item one item 2, and so on. And again, you can, of course, name these items anything you like.